Hey guys, welcome to the sixth episode of Ask PK, and uh, today we will be talking about the art of saying no. <coughs> uh, so I will be talking about how mindfulness uh, and meditation also uh, makes you, you know, helps you take wiser choices or make wiser decisions in life. So uh, that also I'll, I'll be talking about that as well. Uh, primarily this this in this in this episode i'll be talking about whether it's right to say no to things uh, how to say no to things and and all of that so continue watching if this is something which is of interest for you the question is by harshada hey harshada hi so this this question is by by harshada and this is the question many times it's hard for me to say no especially to my close ones I end up pleasing them though I was really not comfortable to do the things they wanted me to do. Maybe I'm just scared that I may hurt their feelings or maybe I'm insecure about my relation with them. How do I deal with this? Okay. Uh I'll try to go really deep okay with this. So firstly let me tell you um, a quote which is by the Buddha okay. The Buddha says whatever you think and ponder upon the most becomes a natural inclination of your mind this is this is profound okay this is a super cool quote uh whatever you think or ponder upon the most becomes the natural inclination of your mind now what does that mean it means that whenever you have a particular thought the chances of that thought appearing again have increased now so i am not a neuroscientist but i believe this has been validated by neuroscientists that certain neural pathways get strengthened when we have repetitive thought pattern right so if you have this is uh, self explanatory it just simply means that if we have good thoughts you know based in love based in compassion based in kindness uh, then then uh, the chances of those thoughts appearing again are higher and the converse is also true if we have more thoughts on ill will hatred anger those thoughts will also repeat again so in a way the mindfulness journey is about planting good seeds in our mind and good thoughts in our mind now why did i start it off why did i start off with that because when you are saying that you don't you can't say no for things uh, no no to be no to, to your closed ones when they ask you for favors um, or ask you to do certain things i think you could just do a very slight reflection instead of you know bluntly saying yes or no a slight reflection as to whether this thing is going to serve them in a better way or serve me in a better way or serve everyone around us in a better way or it is just going to ca- cause harm uh, when that particular thing is done the reason i ask you to look at the intent or the root of that thing or that action is because we want to nurture what is good we want to nurture what is based in love goodwill compassion generosity forgiveness wisdom if it is based in some wholesome intent what is wholesome wholesome is skillful wholesome is which is good for everyone so whether it is based in wholesome or whether it is based in unwholesome if it is based in in, in an unwholesome intent or in an unwholesome action you should straight away say no to it like no to is about it straight away say no mindfulness is often mistaken to be you know a uh, a practice where we surrender to the situation while a part of that is true it does not mean that we surrender to everything so so his holiness the dalai lama gives a beautiful example he says that if there is a meditator and if uh, there is a mad dog running behind him he will not say to the dog calm down love compassion no what do you do what should the guy do the meditator should simply run away okay why because he's understanding the situation and he's saying no to the situation we always don't have to be with open arms we have to say no to certain situations especially if they are going to cause harm to us so no you have to understand that this is not uh this has not nothing to do with non violence uh this is something which Uh, uh you know it's 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 a misconception 
but you know let me make it clear that when you have a certain situation which is not wholesome which is unwholesome you have the complete right to say no if you think that someone is beating the other guy obviously you should go and stop the guy it does not mean that okay you are a mindfulness practitioner so you sit there and you plead the guy to walk away no you stop the guy but with compassion in your heart for the one who's beating and also for the one who is getting beaten okay so going back to wholesome and unwholesome if it is based in something unwholesome say no right away if it is based in something wholesome you could give it a thought that okay you know i might have ex- helped this person 10 times in the past maybe doing this for the 11th time is also good for him you know and good for the people around him so it's okay but again you know this is also this this answer has to be has to come from within you okay i mean you might also feel that hey you know this is causing harm to me you know for example if there is a person who is giving you some work which is causing harm to you or which is messing with your mental peace or taking away a lot of your time and it is happening too frequently then you are the one who can set that limit you can always say no even if it's a whole something right so you can't you can't correct the whole world in one go i mean it is just not practical so you can set your own boundaries and you can um, you know work with it there is a first aspect okay so just a quick revision wholesome unwholesome unwholesome say no right away wholesome see to what extent you are comfortable doing it and then just be very respectfully say it okay so even the way in which you say no uh, matters here a lot of times you know uh, especially when it comes to people who don't express uh, who keep who are always subdued subdued who don't really express every time when they don't express it goes on accumulating it goes on accumulating and then the volcano erupts right and that when the volcano erupts it's it's never good it's it's always ugly so also the way in which you present this matters so you tell the person with a lot of love and respect that hey you know i know you have been saying this to me and uh, telling asking me to do, do this thing but is it something that i'm kind of uncomfortable doing is it okay if i don't do this there's a difference between this and what the hell who do you think you are and i won't do this for you this will plant angry seeds in your mind firstly and secondly it will disturb the relation so that's not a good strategy at all if you think confrontation is not your thing you know if you can't say this in in front of the person but you have good news you have this you have this this mobile phone you can text the person you can whatsapp the person you can call the person if you hate confrontation it also matters how you project it or how you put it across with a lot of love and respect for the other person the last thing is i think you have answered the question yourself to an extent okay you know at at a at a certain level you are feeling needy about things right you are feeling guilty of letting down someone else because you might feel that they will you know maybe judge you for that maybe stop talking to you maybe pick a fight with you whatever whatever the action is you are kind of you know you kind of have a needy side associated with it and that is cool okay we all have a needy side i just published a blog on ble- being needy so please please read that as well uh <clears throat> but yes that there is is a needy side to all of us there is a side which is afraid of being judged you know we, we are afraid of being judged we are afraid if if people would not approve this action now this is again you know if you if you know it is based in fear it is just based in insecurity it is based in uh, you know lack of self acceptance so i think you have the answer already that you have to work on self acceptance okay so how do you work on self acceptance you you love yourself more you love everyone around you more you accept yourself with all your flaws because once you accept yourself completely so completely is an exaggeration but once you accept yourself to a large extent you would stop depending on approval other other people's approval right so when you are firm you can when you firmly think that okay this is not something that i want to do you can say a firm no because even if they get upset angry or whatever you would still be okay right and that's the difference between uh you know a person who has accepted himself or herself to an extent versus someone who is you know still very insecure now how do you accept yourself so i'm going to obviously end this with a mindfulness tip please explore metta meditation or loving kindness meditation uh so you know all this gyan i'm not a big believer of gyan but i still still make these videos just to point the way okay the ultimate difference or transformation happens when you sit down and you watch your thoughts and watch your emotions that's why i'm a big fan of mindfulness watching to tech talks watching these talks 
is not going to take you the entire way it can show you the way probably but it it won't really take you the whole whole to to that you know whole level of new transformation so i'll invite you to explore meta meditation loving kindness meditation i can also send you the audio recording if you want okay i don't have the audio recording yet but i plan to have one soon so i'll send it to you if you want uh but yes you know gradually go on practicing self acceptance and uh, acceptance of everyone around you that will melt the fear that will melt the stress that will melt the anxiety and these these thoughts won't bother you and you can take wiser choices in life so i hope this this video adds some kind of value uh um, i believe i've given you a theory part a practical part and i hope this makes sense so please keep on asking me questions guys and i'll try to answer them all right you take care ashada don't be too hard on yourself you know we are in this together yes cool bye bye take care